Hey, what's going on guys? CJR here today with Andrew. You want to say hi? Hi. And we're going to be unboxing and doing a review of the Sphero Ollie. I'm extremely excited. This is going to be one of the hottest gifts at Christmas. Um, thank you to Sphero for sending us this re uh, review unit. Uh, you ready to open this, buddy? Here we go. I got my knife. Should little boys play with knives? No. No, that's right. Only for big people, right? Big people. Wait till you're older. Um, so I got this in the mail uh, a couple days ago, and um, I've been waiting. Andrew's been sick. We all, I, want, I wanted to do this unboxing together. Put this away. So it's safe, right? Good. Okay, so... Ollie! Ollie, yeah. Okay, so where should I start here? I'm going to start with the unit itself. Um, this is it. I got the, uh, the one with the blue tires. That's Ollie. <coughs> Does that look pretty cool? It's a blue Ollie. Is there another one? So basically Ollie is hey, a... another one! We'll see what else is in there. The, basically Ollie is a remote controlled vehicle. Um, it runs on two wheels. It's a single cylinder. I'm going to open this up and uh, you guys are going to see. But absolutely very cool. You can see actually when I when I move him, he, he writes himself uh, automatically. It's really cool. There's a whole bunch of great technology in here. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Oh, check it out. They sent us a shirt. Wow, that's pretty cool. Over there. Awesome, all these shirts. We're gonna see, what is that? Very cool. They also sent us a jump. Um, this thing can do some pretty cool tricks. It goes really fast and once it hits a jump like this, it actually can launch pretty high. You can order different colored hubcaps for this, uh, more jumps. In there, Daddy. Very cool stuff that I'll get to. That's it, that's all that's in there. We're going to open this up and then we're going to take it off some jumps outside. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and open up the Ali. Taking a look at the packaging here first, uh, you can, it's billed as the app controlled robot driven by adrenaline. Really, really cool packaging. You can see here the uh, uh, basically the Ollie runs by you, you sync your smartphone or iPod to the Ollie. Uh, I believe it runs on Android phones too. Um, just through Bluetooth, and that's how you control it. So it's very, very cool. The packaging is really nice, really sleek, engineered for speed. I believe this, this thing reaches speeds up to um, uh, 14 miles per hour, 25 kilometers per hour, so it, it really zips along. So you can see it's got that really cool LED lights. We'll see when we turn it on. Um, instant connection through Bluetooth. It's got a 30 meter range, which is pretty good. Um, and it's got a lithium ion battery uh, that can be recharged or through USB, which is super cool. Yeah, so it's got the um, Apple and Google, so it'll work on any uh, Android phone, I believe. The drift wheels, which are straight plastic, uh, which allow you to drive around inside and drift around corners. And then the grip tires, which are better for outside and uh, making super fast, uh, tight turns. You can see it's ultra agile, it says. Um, from the videos I've seen, it, it really does handle well. Um, super fast, like I said, it reaches pretty fast speeds. And then upgrade your play, ghostfero.com. That's where you can go get your accessories and all that sort of thing. So, And then a little thing of uh, what's in the box. You see it's got the unit itself with the drift tires, USB, and then these are the uh, hubcaps and then the tires. So we're going to go ahead and crack this open. Got to make sure that hang tabs down, I believe. And it slides right out. Put that there. As I said, some very, very cool packaging. So that's the unit. It's as you can see, it's quite tiny, um, but there's a ton of really cool technology packed in here. So under the unit itself, you will find the USB charging cable. Really nice branded Sphero, Sphero branding on there. Blue cable. Um, just some warranty information, a small instruction booklet on how to set it up, which maybe I'll set to the side here. So first off, we're going to add the wheels to the unit. And uh, it just takes a little bit of a uh, tiny bit of force to get those on there. And the other one. They have a little bit of elasticity to them, so. And there we go, we have our wheels. Oh, 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 I got a 
Okay guys, next up are the hubcaps. They go on either end, pretty straightforward. It does take a little bit of pressure and if you apply a pressure right towards each clip, it's much easier than pushing in the center. I found that out the hard way, but I edited that part out. So our Ollie is all set up. We are going to uh, get this bad boy charged up for an hour and uh, I'll show you guys how to sync it to your smartphone or iPad or tablet. Okay guys, our Ollie is all charged up and ready to go. All you need to do is go to the Apple um, App Store or the Google Play Store and download the free Ollie app. Uh, make sure your, y or your uh, Bluetooth is turned on. Uh, that's how they, the two are paired through Bluetooth. I haven't done this yet, so we're gonna go ahead and do this together. It says, touch your iPhone to Ollie. And all you need to do is actually tap the Ollie with your phone and it will pair. You can see the really cool LED lights on the on the unit start to flash and you're ready to go. Now that I've shown you the basic setup for the Ollie, it's time for a montage. Okay guys, we are back with our final impressions on the Sphero Ollie. Uh, did you have fun playing with the Ollie? Yeah. It's pretty cool, isn't it? What did you do? Did you chase it in your car? <laughs> I, I caught it. You caught it, right? He basically almost ran it over. Um, that's the first thing I'll mention is the, uh, I was really impressed with the durability of the Ollie. You gotta go pee? Okay, you go upstairs and go pee. Go pee, buddy. Close the door, Andrew. <laughs> okay guys, the Sphero Ollie. Um, like I said, I was really impressed with the durability. Originally I had seen this device on uh, Electric Playground, which is a video game show here in Canada. And uh, the thing that I took away from that was uh, how, how well it was able to uh, handle. Um, and in testing this device for a couple days, it actually exceeded my expectations. It, it really, really does handle extremely well. Uh, when you're able to uh, manipulate the settings in the, um, in the, through the iPhone app that you use to control it, and you can actually dial down the speed, you can change the type of surface that you're running on. Um, at full speed, if, uh, which is uh, I think 14 miles per hour, it really zips along. And uh, if you go to make a turn at 14, it'll it'll kind of it'll flip over. So uh, what I did was I dialed back the speed for the uh, cone test there in the video, and I was able to uh, really handle nicely. Um, you can actually change the um, the uh, how fast it accelerates, uh, how well it turns, t uh, the tight turns. Um, you can dial that down if you want to do uh, drifting, which I wasn't able to do. Um, but like I said, really impressed with the handling and really impressed with the durability. I was able to take it downstairs. It has minor, minor scuffs and scratches. Because the device is so compact, it really can survive a pro easily a three foot drop. Um, I put it up to full speed and I took it off the jump there. I was able to get about a foot and a half of air in my tests. Um, 
And again, it survived. I did it onto grass, but it took. I took it. I flew it off the stairs too a couple times, and uh, it held up really well. So, the Sphero Ollie is available now. It came out in late October, early November, I believe. Uh, it retails for ninety nine ninety nine. Um, the price, in my opinion, is pretty much spot on. I've seen a lot less um, less quality devices, like remote control devices, for go for a lot more than that. Um, like I said, the handling for me in, in tests, indoor tests, I was playing with it in the game room here. And if you dial the speed back, you're really able to weave through chairs, and it's really fun to, to uh, just see how how good you can get it. Uh, just kind of controlling it and doing like slalom courses. I was playing with it up in the living room. The dog was kind of following it around. I was going through his legs. It was really a, a lot of fun. Um, the LEDs that light up on this thing are, make it look absolutely cool. If it's later, if it's not, if it's not super light out. It, uh, the face lights up, as you guys could see, and all the LED lights up different colors. Uh, it holds a battery charge really nicely. I played with it for, it felt like at least an hour, hour and a half maybe, uh, before it started to die down. And then it's just a simple plug into the USB outlet. So, um, all in all, super impressed with the uh, Sphero Aldi. Um, I'm going to leave a link below to uh, Sphero's website. Uh, you can customize your Ollie. They actually have a black one coming out, the uh, Dark Side Edition, I believe it's called. Really cool, all black. Um, you can actually get custom different hubcaps, uh, um, uh, different tires. I've actually seen one video online where they had a GoPro bracket built onto this thing, um, and they were driving it around. It was super cool. Uh, Sphero, the people that make the Ollie, have actually, from what I've heard, opened up the software development kit, the SDK, to uh, designers to be able to make you know apps and games down the road with this thing so uh, this thing's really only starting uh, its future applications are just numerous and immense the future is bright for the for the Ollie I really think this is going to be one of the biggest uh, Christmas gifts of the holiday season so uh, anyways guys I hope you enjoyed our uh, unboxing setup and review of the Spiro Ollie as always do me a favor and like comment subscribe and until the next episode